Howdy folks, for today's video I just wanted to do a little video on a little gem of a red dot that I found and I feel like in the red dot world there's, I mean you can spend anything from like super cheap for the Chinese stuff all the way up to, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars so there's quite a price range in the red dot world. Now, a lot of people shoot red dots. A lot of people are familiar with red dots. So I won't go into very many details on why you might want a red dot besides the fact that they're easy to mount, they're easy to sight in, and once you have a sighted in red dot, it's really good for closer distance, closer range shooting, and fast target acquisition. So, I mean, <laughs> whenever I take out the, the youth to, to go shooting, the, the boys or the girls or, or the family, then usually the holographic sights like the EOTechs or the Vortex UH-1s or the red dots are like the favorite guns for them to use. And it's easy to teach beginners on, on the red dots just because you say, hey, Put the dot on the target and then you pull the trigger. So today I wanted to talk about this, like I said, a little gem of a red dot. And it's this one is price pointed below the hundred dollar mark and above the you know like the deep dirt cheap ones, like you know, like a well actually I don't know if they're still dirt cheap, but I used to say the the lowest priced optic that I would throw on a gun would be the TRS-25 from, from Bushnell. But I used to get those for about 40 bucks, 50 bucks, somewhere around there. And I don't know if they're still in that price range. So the one I have to talk about today is one that's a little bit more expensive. So say you want to go a little bit nicer than the dirt cheap stuff, you know. Then uh, the one I have is the Feiyachi. I think that's how you say it, Feiyachi V30. Now, this red dot's pretty, it's pretty cool. It has quite a few features. And let's go ahead and take a, a closer look at it. All right, so the Feiyachi V30 comes in packaged like this. Seems to be really packed quite well. This one, the V30, has a two MOA red dot. It has 10 brightness settings and eight for daylight and two for night vision. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really a night vision guy. So basically <laughs> that's, it's a feature that is cool that they have it, but it's not really something I'll ever use. So it comes with the two scope caps which I always appreciate when the manufacturers include the scope caps. It also comes with the CR2032 battery, some wrenches to and screws to install the mount that you want to use. It comes with two mounts, a low mount as well as a I believe this is a full co-witness mount if you're shooting it on an AR-15 or a similar platform. Then it's not too hard. All you got to do is swap out these four screws, pop that on, and then put the screws on, and then you can mount this. So, quite a cool little red dot. It has scratch-resistant lenses for brightness and resolution. This one also has a cool feature of auto on and off. And so when it, when it senses that you're motion, then it will turn automatically on. And when it's holding still, it'll turn off after one hour of, of doing nothing. So that's kind of cool. I like the on off feature of, you know, motion detection. And it also helps <laughs> in my case, when uh, I accidentally forget to turn it off, that after a range day that it'll automatically turn itself off after an hour. That's pretty awesome. It has a one by 22 millimeter objective lens and it is equipped with a removable, right here you can see, anti-reflection device. It's 
got kind of like the honeycomb texture. <sighs> These are built pretty durable. I, I'm not really one of the guys who, you know, ties it up behind my truck and drive it around the desert banging it around. I usually take care of my stuff and especially anything that goes on again like optics and I'm not going to drive, uh, <laughs> not going to mount this on one of my guns and drive it behind a truck either to torture test it. But it is said to be certified up to 800 G's of recoil impact. Now, the use case for me for one of these, although you can use it on like a 223 AR or I guess, you know, pretty much whatever gun you want. This one, I really like these red dots when I'm not going to, I don't want to spend a ton of money, but I want something that's reliable and something that is a, uh, you know, high enough quality that I can trust it and trust it not to break. So I like using these on my pistol caliber carbines. I have, although this one is a new one that I just barely got uh, recently, the, I have a Feachi on one of my 45 ACP carbines and I've been using that one for I think five years now. And I think I've just had to change the battery once, but other than that, I've had to do nothing with it after sighting it in. So I really do like the Feachi brand. If you're if you're looking for something that's, you know, pretty inexpensive, it's, you know, you could buy it off of Amazon and it holds up to to decent recoil. The Feachi red dots are kind of a nice little red dot in that price point of, you know, between about 60 bucks to, you know, 60 to 80 or 60 to 100 dollars. This one I got for about, I think it was like 65 bucks. I think they're on sale on Amazon right now for the Amazon Days or Amazon Prime or Prime Days or whatever Amazon calls it. But uh, you can go ahead and check them out there. Just search for the Feyachi V30 Red Dot, man, and you can see. Now, I, I know I said before that I really like to throw these kind of optics onto my pistol caliber carbines like my 9mm AR 15s. I have a 9mm AK, the the Palmetto State Armory AK, it's the AKV chambered in 9mm. That one I have a Crimson Trace cheapy red dot on that I'm I'm testing and that one's still working pretty good. But this one the difference between that one and this one, this one feels like it's built a little bit better, even though the other one has the Crimson Trace name on it. It also has on the scope caps, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like kind of like a built-in screwdriver, like a little part that extends out so that you can put that on here and use your scope little, uh, what would you call it, the, the little adjustment screws you can use the caps to make the adjustment so you don't have to have like a tool to do it and unlike the <laughs> unlike the crimson, crimson trace red dot this one is actually marked with an arrow that says right and left and up and down and stuff so that i am grateful for i still don't know why crimson trace left that off on their little cheapy uh, inexpensive red dot but maybe it's because they went too cheap on it but anyways, I'm pretty excited about this one. This one's going to go on my AR-15 that is chambered in 223, and I have an upper that I a 300 blackout upper that I might put it on also. But it's for I needed an optic, and I didn't want it to break the bank. I needed an optic to uh, for the, those those uppers to test the zinc bullets, and I'm trying to do some round count tests on those, and I need something. An optic but I need something that that didn't cost a ton right now because I, I spent my money elsewhere uh, earlier this week and I'll have a different video on <laughs> on that but anyways uh, I will be able to hopefully have a video coming up this summer's been like crazy busy but hopefully I'll have a video coming up where I can have this mounted and have some range time with it and give you feedback but if this one is like my other Feyachi Red Dots, then I'm not worried. It should work and it should work forever or, you know, a really long time. I haven't had a Feyachi break yet, so I am, I'm thinking this will be the, the exact same. So if you guys are interested in this, go ahead and check it out on Amazon, uh, the V30, Feyachi V30. And 
let me know what you guys think. What's what's your favorite uh, red dot in that price point of you know sub one hundred dollar, but not the bottom barrel type stuff. So, uh, anyways, <sighs> take care, stay safe, and go get a red dot. Catch you later.